This week's episode is mainly about me ripping apart my studio and why and it's basically just to refinish my desk and redo a few things uh, because I, I'm very very close to getting my studio comfortable how I want it and you'll see every little every little step here what I'm about to do so check this out oh no what happened see this orange color that was supposed to be amber supposed to be a color called amber stain they maybe work on another type of wood like I think it maybe oak but uh, I wanted an actual amber color and it turned out orange way back uh, four years ago when I built the studio. I built this desk and I'm finally tired of seeing it. I'm just gonna I sand at the top and the bottom I'm gonna leave the orange color. It'll be a nice blend I guess. But uh take you out and show you this. And it's obviously not dry yet. You can see I used to be orange and there is orange sawdust all over the garage. This garage really needs cleared out big time. It'll be a spring cleaning thing. But I like it. There's the side desk. So as if uh, one normal desk for a guy that does uh, a lot of media creating stuff, one desk isn't enough. I, I have all these surfaces everywhere. So I have this desk and then a uh, uh, piece you just saw that's on the side because that wasn't enough in my mixer I didn't want in the middle it used to be in the middle here and my console is on the side now now it's just kind of sitting there on this desk which is the desk kind of a rolling table that I sit my laptop on when I tether my laptop you can see here I made a desk behind me the red bottom that is the days airing studios red with this on top, it's kind of cluttered up because everything else I took off my other desk. This is behind me. And then it has shelf in there. There I keep my action camera stuff and my other bag. Then over here I have a shooting table that my monitor is now sitting on right now. And that table has stands, little smaller backdrops, lamps galore, my tether tools cable, and then this, which I will show you some other time, is the thick vinyl backdrop that sits on this table. Mainly uh, like stock photography, product photography, uh, all my white stuff, everything, like if you check out my dreams time, all my white stuff was done on that same exact table. Like every last one of them was done at that same thing. And usually with this 48 inch box here, there's the shelf that I built for my cameras, which are now laying there after I carefully organized them. I do this kind of thing all the time. <laughs> I have a thing with reorganizing and redoing stuff. So as you can see, Days Eric Studios is in disarray right now. It's a complete mess. And the funny thing about this is, you would think, person with like a pretty bad OCD, this would drive me crazy. But I love seeing it like this because that means, every time it gets messy like this, that means something cool is going down and that it's going to look even cooler when I put it all back together. And uh, I just finished the tutorial. Just finished a, a vlog and so they're all rendered and ready to go. So that warranted me being able to just tear everything apart, do what I want and put it all back together again before I need to do anything, which will probably be soon. So stain's drying there and I have to finish this. I'll let you see it when it's done. Everything is back in place, dust free. 
Go to that spot over there. I'm gonna get that right now. Everything is back in place and dust free. Thanks for checking out episode 18 of the Jay Zaring vlog. Please subscribe and tell your friends. Keep creating and keep it awesome.